When you travel as much as I do, trying to figure out the best accessories to make your life as comfortable as possible on the road is pretty much essential. And after more than a decade of being as minimalist as possible, a few years ago I finally caved in and bought myself a pair of these. Some noise cancelling headphones from Sony. And they're a complete game changer. And today I'm really excited to share with you guys that Sony have just announced their new range of high-end noise cancelling headphones, the WH-1000X Mark IVs. But are they worth upgrading? Let's find out. What's up guys, hope you're doing well. I'm doing great. I've even got my Flamingo shirt on today and welcome to a non-travel related vlog. We do these occasionally, especially if it's photography or gear related and today it's all about gear. We are gonna be unboxing and reviewing these. It is the WH-1000X Mark IV headphones from Sony. They've just come out, managed to get our hands on a couple of pairs from Sony. We got the black pair, the white pair, and as a full disclaimer, Sony did send these to us, but we're not paid by Sony. They haven't asked us to do a review or anything like that. They just sent them to us and I thought, why not? I'm trying to get into video and get a little bit better at these kind of things. So you're coming along for the journey with me while I do a unboxing review video on these. Without further ado, cue the cinematic B-roll attempt, which I've never done before, but let's see if I can do it anyway. That was the first time I've ever tried to do a cinematic unboxing. I don't know if it went well. I guess I'll find out when I try to edit this video later tonight. But uh, if you guys liked it, please hit thumbs up because that took a lot of mental power trying to get that together. Never really done video before, more of a photo guy. But anyway, enough about my uh, mediocre B-roll footage. Uh, let's talk about these. These are the headphones. I've just opened them up. We have a black pair and a white pair, but I've decided to stick to the black pair for this video because uh, these will probably be mine, the white ones will be Alicia's. So the very first thing that I noticed, and I'm gonna be comparing these headphones to the Mark IIs, which are these ones, which I bought a couple of years ago, and I've absolutely loved them. Uh, but these are now gonna be living over here. Well, not there. Gonna be living somewhere that's a little bit more secure than just sitting on the bench. But uh, these are gonna be what I'm using from now on. So the very first thing that I've noticed when I've opened up the box is that they look and feel very similar. They're quite flexible, as you guys can see. That's awesome, you don't feel like they're gonna break them. Uh, putting them on though, and this is something that I am a huge fan of already, they are so comfortable. Because one thing I have to say about these guys, the Mark IIs, as much as I loved them, they're a little bit uncomfortable if you wore them for more than an hour or two on a plane or something like that. They started to feel a little bit hot. They felt like they were kind of digging into your ears. And I don't have huge ears. I've got a huge head, but I don't have huge ears. So it was something that as much as I loved them, they were kind of uncomfortable to wear. So the first thing, putting these on, like they've got a deeper cup. They feel great. They're just really, really nice on the ears, which is going to be a huge game changer for Sony. I know they had a big update with the Mark III, which addressed those issues, but I never ended up buying the Mark III. It just went straight to the Mark IVs now, which is sick. I'm not a huge specs guy. If you want to know absolutely everything there is to know about these headphones, go to the Sony website and you can read more about it. But I will talk about a few of the features uh, that I really think sets these apart from some of the other competitors in the market. Now, the first feature I absolutely love is that the battery life is now 30 hours. Now, if you're like us, you'll be using these on planes a hell of a lot. Well, maybe not now, but in the future, 
when things get back to normal, you'll probably be taking planes again. And that's when you'll be using noise cancelling headphones to cut out the jet engine noise and babies crying and things like that. Uh, and 30 hours is enough for pretty much any kind of flight you're gonna be doing anywhere in the world. The longest connection I've ever done is about 60 hours, I think. And another cool thing they have is the quick charge feature, which is basically you plug these in via USB-C. Oh yeah, side note for all the uh, tech guys out there, USB-C, awesome. You plug these in via USB-C for 10 minutes and you get five hours of playback. Insane. Another cool thing is that if your headphones go flat because you're like me and you forget to charge stuff, it's not a problem because you can get one of the headphone cables that come in the package there and you plug it straight in and your headphones will work even without having any battery. So that is pretty amazing. One thing that my Mark IIs had, which I will admit I think was kind of gimmicky and I never actually used, was that if you wanted to cut out the volume coming through your headphones, you could just put your hand over the right ear cup and it would cut out the volume. Now, that is great in theory, but I mean, if I'm gonna put my hand all the way up to here, I'm probably just gonna then take them off to hear you know, the announcement or someone talking to me. So as much as that feature seemed kind of cool, it's never something I actually use, but one thing that these new Mark IVs have is a speak to cut feature. So basically, if you're wearing the headphones and you have a conversation with your friend and you don't wanna take your headphones off your head, when you start speaking, the microphone on the side will pick up that you are trying to have a conversation and it'll cut the volume out. So you don't actually have to take your headphones off. It'll turn off the noise canceling so you can hear all the ambient noise around you and you can just carry on having a conversation like everything is absolutely normal and you're not wearing a pair of headphones on your head. And if you're in the middle of your favorite song or you listen to a podcast and your phone's tucked away, it might be charging over in the corner somewhere and you're like, oh, I got to take my headphones off for whatever reason and I'm going to miss out on a really cool part of the podcast or of my favorite part of the song. Not an issue anymore because once you take these off, you have a little sensor on the inside of the left cup which will detect that you've taken the headphones off and it will automatically pause your music. And then when you put it back on, it starts up again. With the noise cancelling abilities on these headphones, Sony have said they are industry leading and the best you can get on the market for this price range. And having put them to the test standing out next to the traffic and some road noise just before, it's really, really good. It cuts through that sound completely. You get really nice, clear audio coming through from your music or your podcast or anything like that. And it really does just completely cut out that background noise. And that's why I think for travel essentials, having a pair of noise cancelling headphones are really, really important to have, whether it's for flights or whether you're on noisy buses or you're in a hostel and your neighbor's snoring and things like that. The sound quality you get with the WH-1000X Mark IVs is really, really incredible. And I'm not just saying that the bass is really nice and deep, you get some really good mid-tones there and the treble and the high notes are just perfectly crisp and clear. It is really fantastic. And that was one thing when Alicia and I first bought our headphones a couple of years ago. I went with the Sonys, even though they were a little bit more uncomfortable back in the day over Alicia's Bose headphones that she got, which were way more comfortable to wear, but I did find the audio on the Sony was a lot better. So now you got the best of both worlds. You have the top of the line Sony audio quality and you get the comfort to go along with it. It really puts ease at the top of the market. To get the most out of your WH-1000X Mark IV headphones, you're gonna have to download the Sony Headphones Connect app. Through that, you can control all the noise cancellation, the ambient sounds, you can set your equalizer so you can have more bass or more treble, or however you want it. And you can even use adaptive sound control, which is something that Sony have really mastered. It'll pick up atmospheric pressures and adjust accordingly. If you're into things like Siri, Google Assistant and Alexa, you're in for a treat because these work absolutely perfectly with those. You can have them on and you can be like, hey Google, I need you to set a reminder that I need to schedule this YouTube video for 1 a.m. You can use these as a headset for all them Zoom meetings that you are no doubt doing at home right now. So you can put these on, it's got a microphone built in and all your work colleagues are gonna be super jealous that you got the most badass headphones in the Zoom call, that's for sure. Finally, there is something called 360 Reality Audio and it gives you a truly immersive audio experience by jumping onto the Sony Headphones Connect app and finding some other applicable apps. You can find some music which has been engineered to have a proper 360 surround sound experience and these headphones work well with that. Again, I'll be honest, I haven't really used that all too much other than just to test it out. It is very cool. It makes you feel like you're there in a concert and you've got speakers all around you 
but I think for everyday kind of use, it's not really something that you'd be diving into all that often. Now, I know it sounds like I'm saying these headphones are perfect, but they're not. There are a couple of very small things which I think are just not overly great. The controls for controlling the headphones and your music are here on the right hand side. So you have a volume up button, volume down, pause in the middle, uh, you got left and right so you can track up, track down and you can swipe and do all kinds of things. While it works most of the time, it's not overly intuitive, especially because there's no physical buttons to feel. You're kind of just like guessing half the time. It's like, oh, did I, am I trying to hit the pause button here? Am I trying to change tracks? Not a gripe. I do like the fact that it keeps the headphones looking nice and clean and there are no buttons on the side. But again, it's just something that if there were physical buttons there, it would feel a little bit more secure when you're tapping away on the side of your head and knowing exactly what you're doing. In terms of aesthetics, they look really nice. They are clean, especially these black ones. The white ones are still in the box over there. They are absolutely slick and gorgeous if you find headphones gorgeous. Now, I'm not much of a fashionable person, as you can tell, but having headphones that do look this nice, it does work as a great accessory. If you are the kind of person that likes to get dressed up and really are conscious about how you're gonna be looking out in public, yep, these are super nice, super clean, look great. And that's about it for my review of the Sony WH-1000X Mark IV headphones. Side note, that is a mouthful to say, Sony. Regardless of the name, if you're looking for a brand new pair of headphones and you really want the best sound quality and the best noise cancelling you can get on the market, well, these are them right here. That's what you need to go out and buy right now. If you're wondering whether it's worth upgrading though, if you have something like I do, the Mark IIs, the uh, older headphones, or if you're coming over from another brand, I think it's kind of worth jumping over. These are really good. I mean, just the comfort alone is great. And the chat to mute feature is really cool. If you're coming from the WH-1000X Mark III's, I'm not really sure if it's worth upgrading just yet, unless you really do like that chat to mute feature and you are looking for just the best quality you can get on the market, uh, or if your headphones are getting a little bit old. But if you've just bought them, don't stress, you don't have to sell them and run out and get a new pair just yet. Cool, I think I finished my review video. Thanks very much for watching guys. If you like the video, leave a thumbs up and a comment below and hit that subscribe button. Normally we're bringing out travel videos every week, but every now and then I'll be diving into some photography tips and photography tutorials and gear reviews like this, because why not? Trying to diversify, try new things. Now, isn't that what we all have to do in this day and age? It's all about pivoting, right? Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next adventure.